When you go to a dealership looking for a new truck, there's plenty of salesmen that can tell you about a particular model. You'll have the horsepower numbers on every new Ford F-150, the towing capacities of the new Dodge Ram, and the pricing of each Chevy Silverado trim. Those things are undisputed, yet no salesman will ever pull out the details from thousands of owners on how that truck performed over the past year, or which ones were the deadliest in the country. For that type of inside information, we made this video. Maybe it's bad engineering or perhaps the truck is rushed to the market too quickly. Sometimes it's a good idea brought to customers before it's time, and others it's a bad idea at any time. In other cases, the truck's faults come from careless construction and cheap materials. No matter the reasons, there are plenty of trucks on the road that could have been rolling advertisements for the coffin industry. So here are the 10 deadliest trucks in America. The Chevy Silverado the Chevy Silverado is one of the most famous pickup trucks many red-blooded Americans buy. It's a great vehicle with virtually no problems at all. Or is that really the case? Because unfortunately, the majority of Chevy Silverado owners have found that they suffer from various issues throughout the car's lifetime. The Chevy Silverado's first fatal flaw is its high probability of exploding into flames. The first incident of Silverado fires occurred on December 16, 2013, when a 2014 Silverado caught fire and then violently exploded during a test drive from a dealer in Gulfport, Mississippi. Two weeks later, another Silverado was set ablaze in Harvey, Louisiana. Six more trucks would explode that year. But if you thought the Silverado's faulty oil transmission line was the only fatal flaw that can send you to your fiery grave, guess again. Because this truck has a long history of its engine exploding as well. In late 2013, six Silverado owners in the states of New York and Illinois had their engines spontaneously explode while driving at high speeds. A software data corruption triggered the Silverado's exhaust system to overheat, melting fuel systems, valve covers, intake manifolds, and other plastic engine components like butter, causing a chain reaction setting the truck ablaze. The Ford F-150 for more than 40 years, the Ford F-150 has been America's most popular pickup truck. Its robust design, spacious interior make it a great vehicle for hauling, towing, and just about any other activity imaginable. But is it the safest choice? The answer to that question is no. The truck's main fatal flaw is its habit of catching fire and exploding. This fatal flaw was a result of two major manufacturer errors. The first issue came to light on August 31st, 2018, when Ford recalled over 1.6 million trucks due to vehicles catching fire during high-speed collisions. In the affected trucks, a defective front seatbelt pretensioner would deploy during a crash, causing sparks to ignite materials such as carpeting or installation within the B-pillar area. As a result, countless fires were started while injured drivers and passengers were trapped in the vehicle, sending many to their fiery grave. The the second manufacturer error came from the F-150's defective fuel tank straps. Securing the fuel tank to the vehicle, the faulty fuel tank straps would corrode when exposed to normal road chemicals. As a result, the failing straps would cause the truck's fuel tank to completely detach from the vehicle, making direct contact with the road surface, spilling gas onto the road and the underside of the truck, resulting in a fire or fatal explosion. The Ford Ranger Ford is planning to make a comeback for the Ranger in the U.S. market. Our hope is that the latest model will show improvements. The driver protection ratings for the 2005 to 2008 models were poor, and the numbers prove it. 81 drivers per million died on the road, with 60% of the deaths arising in multi-vehicle crashes. Problems contributing to the Ford Ranger's high fatality rate include a defective speed control deactivation switch that resulted in engine fires, malfunctioning fuel filters that caused gas leaks, and trucks to explode, poorly built built tires that spontaneously explode at high speeds, and a broken cruise control module that propelled terrified drivers at speeds exceeding 120 miles per hour. The Chevy Silverado 2500 HD when you land among the vehicles ranking worst for reliability, it's officially a bad year. That's where the Chevy Silverado 2500 HD found itself in the 2019 Consumer Reports survey. Problems churned up everywhere, but the 2500's main fatal flaw comes from its failing brakes. The truck's brake failure was the result of two major manufacturer errors. The first issue came to light in February of 2016, when Chevy admitted that over 400,000 trucks had loose brake pedals. On the affected vehicles, the brake pedal pivot screw often became loose causing the brake pedal to fall off during high-speed maneuvers, leaving drivers powerless to stop the vehicle. The second fatal blunder was discovered in April of 2005, when Chevrolet was forced to disclose a critical malfunction with its parking brake system. According to internal documents, the friction lines on the parking brake often wore so severely that it couldn't keep the vehicle stationary. The GMC Canyon 
When it comes to deadly trucks, the GMC Canyon is the heavyweight title holder, with two consecutive years of the poorest reliability ratings a pickup could get. With that recent past, it was almost a given that Consumer Reports would rate it below average for 2019. In the past few years, owners have reported transmission failure, exploding engines, fuel leakage, deflated airbags, power assist failure, and brake failure as a cherry on top. But that's only naming issues that were widespread. The GMC Sierra as the GMC counterpart to the Silverado, the Sierra shares the strengths and weaknesses of its Chevy counterpart. Owners have reported countless issues with these models in recent years. Among them, trouble with the fuel system, broken transmission components, and weak body integrity stand out. The latest poor predicted reliability rating from Consumer Reports makes four straight years for the GMC Sierra. Overall, its reliability score of negative 16% was one of the year's very worst. The Honda Ridgeline Honda introduced the Ridgeline in 2006, and even though the idea, design, and equipment were spot on, the mechanics were problematic. Under the hood was a 3.5 liter V6 engine that didn't have a lot of torque at just 245 pound feet. As a result, when somebody used the Ridgeline for any purpose, like towing or hauling, things started to break. The suspension and cross members failed, and the engine would burn too much oil, emitting a gray blue smoke. Although the 3.5 liter V6 was perfect for the Accord or any other mid sized sedan, in a pickup truck with pull and carrying duties, it simply wasn't enough. Four trucks with 5.4 liter V8 engines. From 2003 to 2010, Ford produced many trucks with a modular 5.4 liter V8 engine with a three valve cylinder head. Despite being relatively powerful, these engines were known to develop serious issues, especially when they crossed the 100,000 mile mark. The main problem is the camshaft phaser. When the system fails, the truck's idle becomes rough and the engine loses power. The first sign of trouble is often strange engine noises. The repairs are costly since they often require a new phaser and a possible new set of camshafts and valves the Nissan Frontier. In most cases, the Nissan Frontier was a dependable work truck without any major issues. However, the 2008 model year had major problems. Almost every Nissan Frontier during that period experienced transmission failure. To make things worse, the transmission itself wasn't the truck's biggest fatal flaw. The radiator was also prone to cracking, causing the coolant to find its way into the gearbox. Some coolants even chemically dissolved the oil, overheating the gearbox, resulting in complete engine annihilation. The Toyota Tundra like the smaller Tacoma, the full-size Tundra has its share of problems, especially during the 2005 and 2008 model years. Buyers also reported a few issues with the paint, the electronics, and the secondary air pump. Despite its decent performance and power, the 5.7-liter V8 engine was loud and had cold piston slap sounds. Also, the interior of the truck was dull and there weren't that many options. The Dodge Ram Although the Dodge Ram was one of the most popular light-duty trucks on the market, it's a 2010 model year equipped with a V6 engine that you'll want to watch out for. The base of a 3.7 liter V6 engine is relatively weak with just 250 horsepower and 235 pound-feet of torque. In addition, it also has poor fuel economy. In fact, in terms of gas mileage, there was no difference between the V6 and the V8, but with the bigger engine, you get more power. Secondly, the truck's base equipment is lacking compared to others in its class. It also earned a disappointing star crash test rating, making the truck far more dangerous the 2010 Ford F-150. Most people know the Ford F-150 is the best-selling truck in America, but no truck is perfect and you should definitely avoid the 2010 model year. This is due to problems with the engine that can lead to loud noises, rattles, and vibrations. Some users have reported transmission problems and a few had electrical issues as well. This model is also known for its rear window glass spontaneously breaking. Apparently, the rear glass of the F-150 would shatter by itself without any hit or impact. The Toyota Tacoma the Tacoma is a relatively durable and high quality product, but certain model years were part of a massive recall by Toyota for various reasons. One of the main problems were the rear leaf springs that could rust and crumble under heavy loads. Even worse, in some cases, crumbled leaf springs could penetrate the rear mounted fuel tank and cause fuel leaks. Also, buyers reported a slow automatic transmission, but this was not an actual problem or malfunction. It was just the way the Tacoma gearboxes were made. The Chevy Colorado 
The Chevy Colorado was a popular compact truck that was practical and came with extra options and designs. However, it proved to be a poor quality, and the 2005 model year was especially problematic. In fact, buyers reported numerous problems with air conditioning and electrical systems, as well as the engine and a rusty frame. As a result, it can cost you a ton in repairs and will never be as dependable as a compact truck should be. Well guys, those are the 10 deadliest trucks in America. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like what you see at the channel, subscribe and put post notifications on. You could also follow the channel on Instagram at ModernMuscleYT. I'm Jeff from Modern Muscle, and I'll see you next time.